Hey, my peeps, I'm back today. Hope everyone is doing well and enjoying the first day of spring. Um, I was thinking today, this is not a fake bake. It's actually edible. Thought it was a cute idea when I saw it. So, this is what we're planning on doing. So, at the Dollar Tree, they have this cute bunny butt tin it's so cute and then they also have bunny butt molds so i was thinking that you know you can make some candies and put them in this tin and give it away as a gift to a co-worker a friend i don't know anybody it's pretty easy to do and let's see how this turns out okay but we're gonna go for it okay hopefully it's gonna look like this i, I try i already tried to do like two different types so that's one bunny but it got sprinkles on it and then this is the other bunny butt it got sprinkles on it too I don't know if you can see that, but the butt, this lighting is horrible. I'm sorry for the lighting, but anyways, we're going to go for it. See how it turns out. So you're going to take this mold, right? You're going to need some white chocolate wafers. Oh, you could use some almond bark. I didn't have a vanilla, a white chocolate uh, almond bark. But you can find this at Target, Walmart. I mean, all these. You can find this anywhere. And I like almond bark because it melts really nice and easy and silky. I mean, if you want to make them in dark chocolate, that's up to you. But I already have some chocolate melted here. So, I'm just going to make, like, one or two of these. I already have some done. So, I'm going to pour. Got a spoon to pour into the cavity. Oh, I'm blocking it, right? Just pour it in there. Try to fill it up. And when you do that, after you do that, you want to tap it. You don't want to get any like air bubbles as I did one here. And I mean, you can't see it, but it got like little air bubbles right there. Like I didn't tap it good enough. So you take this and you put it in the fridge, freezer, I don't know, for five or ten minutes. And then it's just going to, you're just going to pop it out of here. And when you pop it out, you're going to get some bunny butts. I don't know why this light. Why it looks so terrible. Let's see if this makes it better. But I don't know. Oh yeah, there you go. You gonna have some cute bunny butts. So I got like four bunny butts. So you're gonna need. I already used this one. You're gonna need. This lighting is really bad today. I don't know why it's so bad. But you're going to need like a toothpick or something. I already used this one on the other bunnies. You take it. Oh, I forgot to say. you If you wanted to have like the, the pink feet and butt, you need some pink sprinkles. I got these tiny, tiny non-pareils for, the, um, for his tail. Or if you want to use clear on his butt, that's fine too. But, so what you do is you take it, these are kind of cold, so I'm going to use this one that's been here for a while. Put these over here, because I just, <laughs> I just took those out. But anyways, you want to have everything ready, because one thing about this chocolate, it dries so fast. Sometimes you don't have enough time to even put the chocolate on there, so anyway, you take some. You just tap it onto his butt. I mean, not his butt, his uh, his little bunny tail, right? 
you take the little tiny nonpareils. I like to do this in stages. See his little butt? Uh, I don't know what's up with this camera today. The lighting is so bad. Anyways, you see that? It got the little, look like a cotton tail now. Wait. I'm just pour this in here because I'm going to pour the other glitter on top of here. Then you take the little paws, like the pads of his feet and then his little toes. And you put dots of white chocolate on this and the little toes. And you quickly pour on your pink, your pink uh, sprinkles. You got to be fast, like I said. I mean, I don't know how warm it is where you at, but it's all right today here, but it's still not, like, you know, it don't, it's not going to keep the chocolate warm for too long. Then you just pour it on, tap it out, you let it dry, right? I know it looks a little messy now. I'm going to put this one in the fridge. But what you do when it's um, hardened, take a brush, and you can just wipe all that extra sprinkles away. Let me put this in the fridge. Now, Dollar Tree also has this kind of mold, which is cute, too. It has a girl and a little boy bunny. And you can make this in dark chocolate. I didn't make any, but I'm just giving you ideas. And it also had they also had this cute bunny tin. So you can make some bunnies and put it in the tin. You could give that as a gift too. I didn't make any chocolate bunnies, but I was just thinking, you know, that's a good idea. Right? So this is how your bunny butt would look. Oh man, your bunny butt would look with the cotton tail and the little feet. So I will take the my brush, and just get rid of that extra sprinkles, and then look, it looks so cute. Then you got another one here. Take your brush. Oh, of course I gotta make a mess. Take your brush and just, you know. Get rid of those little sprinkles. You got another bunny butt. Right? So then you take your bunny butts. After you made as many as you want. You put them in here. I got a little piece of parchment paper right here. I don't know if this is going to even work. But you just... Alright, that's cool. Put your bunny fit in there. You put your bunny butts in here. I'm not really sure how many fit in here. Let's see. Two, three, four, five, six. So you can fit a good eight in there. Let's move all this stuff out the way. Right? Unlock. Close it up. having too much mess um, I made a little tag it says it says bunny butts hugs and kisses right I didn't have any Hershey's kisses because I would have put some in here but I didn't have on any on hand and when I went to Dollar Tree I forgot to get some but you take this tag Tie it up. I don't know if this is going to come around. I'm so terrible at this stuff. <laughs> when it comes to tying ribbons and, and doing all of that, I'm a terrible mess. So you take it, bring it to the back. Bring your little tag to the front. 
bring your little tag to the front. You know it's gonna give me a hard time. Which way you wanna go, Bunny? Come on. So you can tie it, bring it to the back. terrible. How did I do it before? Because <laughs> I did tie it before. I can't, you know, me and bows and ribbons and oh god, it's terrible. Alright, there we go. Bring it to the back. Slide your little tag to the front. I just don't want to Okay. All right. Bunny butt is being a pain in the butt. <laughs> so you tie it. Once you get yourself situated and everything, you know. You tie it. With your little tag. I got this um, baker's twine from Dollar Tree, too. Got a little tag. Bunny butts, hugs, and kisses. So I got the twine from Dollar Tree as well. They have other colors, too, like orange, brown, and, you know. They always have a variety of colors. But anyway, that's your treat. Open it up like a and uh, the bunny butts are inside. Oh my goodness, this was one of the most difficult videos I ever made, and it's like supposed to be the easiest video I ever made. But, anyways, just wanted to share that idea with you guys. Maybe you can go out and uh, you know, make some treats the family for friends they got the bunny mold got your bunny mold and your bunny butt mold oh my god <laughs> i forgot i had the chocolate in there well anyway like i said this is the most messiest most difficult video i ever made but you get the point right Hopefully, you know, you won't have all the trouble I had. But, anyways, this is something you can do with the kids, too, once you freeze the bunny butts. <laughs> Alright, guys, I'll talk to you later. Thanks for watching. God bless.